you another weekend vlog I just finished filming a weekly vlog so it's the next day if you saw that video it's uh, Saturday and Marion and I are going on our, our usual like Saturday Walmart run things like that we're going to go to Lowe's and get some stuff for the railings for the stairs on the patio working on that this weekend we had terrible weather this past week and Marion was fighting it but he finally got the stairs built this morning so make sure to watch that video when it comes out I'm not sure if it's coming out before or after this one but um, we got he got the stairs done and then he's just gonna put the railings up I'm gonna be replanting my, my plants this weekend but that's gonna all be in that vlog so today we're running to I wonder if they had their roof got messed up with all the rain they had like stuff all over the top so so much stuff got, got messed up we had a flood this past week um, Anyway, we I have to run and get a few groceries, just fill in groceries at Walmart. I'm trying to stay on a budget better with my groceries. And we have to go to Lowe's. I also want to go look for, Marion made me those really pretty cedar pots, plant, planters for the for Mother's Day. And I want to find like some plastic pots to put in. I'm hoping they'll be like, what's the word? End of summer discount sales. And I can find some pots to put in there and then I want to put some flowers and then put them on the patio and I also want to find like a rug so just we're hopefully um, we'll go to Walmart uh, Ross Lowe's anyways I'll be vlogging I'll be taking you um, and there will be a lot of working on the patio this weekend that will I'll try to it's I'll be filming two videos so bear with me but anyway welcome back thank you for coming back clicking on this video uh, it's a hot hot weekend hot weekend um, but it is July and I love it so um, we're also fighting rain again today they say it's the last day that we're gonna have these like afternoon storms popping up until the middle of next week so that gives us a few days I really want to grill tomorrow night I'm hoping to get the grill out and grill some burgers and some chicken for a few meals that would be really nice all right first stop is Ross they have put away all the summer stuff and they're getting all the back to school stuff out we have this little tiny section Oh, these are so pretty. $25. And that's 17. Wow, that's super light. This is it? <laughs> no, it's too small. And I want two of them, you know? Oh, they've got a few things over here, but not much. Oh, that's pretty. $4.99, wow, that's amazing. How much is this big one? Like $5.99, wow. It's, it's, it's welcome on that door. <laughs> Do you like this one? Ah. $8.99, that's not bad. Not terrible. You don't love it? Aha, there we go. I like Perfect. that one. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Trick or treat pumpkins. Okay, these are cute. How much is that? $6.99. That's adorable. I do. I do more fall, not Halloween. So. It's cute, too. I feel like this one's much better quality. But it's thicker. This one has the rubber bottom. Which one do you think? Um, this one. They are fully stocked. Madison would have, she wanted that years ago. She would have, that would have been her dream chair for her vanity. Boy, they are really stocked. All right, let's go to Walmart. Is that thunder? I don't think it was though. It doesn't look like it. You never know around here. I wanted to find a couple more of the ones that I got, but I don't see them. The round solar lights I have are, I don't know if they sell. I wanted to get some more for the backyard. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. But they're $13.50 each. Those are so pretty. Um, 
Yeah, I don't see. I have these in the front yard. What'd you say? Yeah, I don't want those. Nine. No. Well, I wanted them to match the round bulbs I have already. I already have four of them, maybe. Oh, is that them? I think that's one of the ones I have. They have some pots here and they're all on clearance, but I kind of just want like simple because it's going to go inside, you know, it's going to go inside the planters. That one's so pretty. I love this. Oh, and the green one back there. These are not, these are not what I'm looking for, although they're pretty. I love this one right here so very much. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> salt blaster. Oh, yeah. You can buy one you for You shoot salt at them? Yes. Man, and it well, obliterates let's them. Scan it and see how much it is. Bug hunter. Mm hmm. Is that what you're getting? No, but. <laughs> but you, wanna, you want to shoot salt at the bugs? We're probably going to need to get some of these, like, tiki torches or something. I don't know. We have so much rain that the. Uh, Bugs are probably gonna be, but that's cute. You set it on your table. Wow. Oh, I thought you got like a. Look how pretty. What? It's perfect, it's not going to fit inside of it. You see, these are so pretty. You don't put them inside of a planter. So, um, not, I might just wait and do those big pots in the spring because I'm going to need like the liners, the flowers, the dirt. I'm probably going to have to seal them or paint them. I might just do that in the fall, in the spring. Because if I put mums in them, I don't know, they die. You know, they bloom like once and then they die. I never, I never put mums out. I could put artificial flowers in them for the fall. Marion said he saw a video where someone used black trash bags and lined their planters and then it worked. So that's an, a cheaper idea because the pots at Walmart, they were too small and they were $10 each. That was the cheapest and they were too small. So anyways, we got a big gulp because because why not? When it's 90 degrees outside, it's my new favorite thing and it's terrible, but it's my new favorite thing in the summer. The clouds are really building. Anyway, we're gonna run into Lowe's. We're across the street from Lowe's. We're gonna get mulch for the backyard. So maybe replanting my flowers and then, or my plants. And then we're gonna get railings for the deck, for the stairs. Is that it? I think that's it. I'll do a haul when I get home, show you all the things I got at Walmart. Super exciting. Oh. oh my gosh, those are so pretty. Those are so pretty. Three for ten. Perfect. No. Oh, you said perfect. Oh, you thought it was <laughs> perfect. You're perfect, man. Mm. Do I need four? I think I need four. Yep. All right. Perfect. Thanks. See, you were talking about me. <laughs> Oh, this is an edging. This edging on the other side. Like, how much are these? I'd love to put like a border with these along the edge of the patio with like the plants and then these. So these are $1.18 each. I'd have to measure and see how many I need. Oh, what a put some kind of border. These are 58 cents. That's even cheaper. 
gosh, even these cheap plastic ones are still $13. I'm complaining too much about the price. I like the trash bag idea. Wow, those are so pretty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, can you tell we've had a lot of rain? Wow. It's starting to get really cloudy. All right, Lowe's didn't have the wood we need, so it's back to Home Depot. I think this is about trip number five since we started, maybe. Nice time counting. <laughs> a quick haul of what I picked up. I got just a few filling groceries for the week and then we got the wood and the mulch and the potting soil which I showed you. I think I showed you. Um, Mary and Jackson are taking that all out back. I also got the lights so slowly I'm just picking up all the things that I'm going to need. There's still just like an endless list of all the finishing touches but I'm trying to just get it as I go so I'm not overwhelmed with how many things I need to get. But these are the few groceries I picked up. Some cereal for me. I didn't want to eat the cereal Madison, Marion and Jackson have. It's like, you know, what is it called? That he, uh, Crunch berries and frosted flakes. I just wanted something that was a little less terrible for me. <laughs> and I got a half gallon of milk. We still have some milk left, but Marion always likes a fresh uh, thing of milk. Once we open it, he feels like it's rotten. So I uh, got some barbecues. I'm going to be doing some barbecue grilled chicken tomorrow. Some more shampoo and conditioner. I do like Function of Beauty. That's my favorite, but I'm not going to Target, so I just got that. Also, I was out of the omeprazole, so I got some of that. A few bananas. Mary needed some uh, deodorant and shampoo. They still didn't have my brioche buns that I wanted, but they had them with sesame seeds, so I just went ahead and got these. Hopefully, these will be good with some cheeseburgers. I got some Parmesan and mozzarella cheese for two different um, meals. Just needed those. I got some more brown sugar. And I got the Sonic Tots last week, and they were so good. And I made like the dupe um, barbecue potato chip tater tots. Marion loved them, asked me to make them again. So I'm going to make, I just got a big thing. This was like a dollar something cheaper than the bag of Sonic Tots, because you can buy the actual Sonic tater tots. I'm going to see if it's just as good once I bake them, because the Sonic Tots baked up super crispy. And if these don't, then I'll just buy the Sonic ones. But I'm going to try that because we're going to have hamburgers one night and we're going to have something else where we needed them. But they were just so delicious. So I need to get all this up. I also got some bubbly for Marion. And then these are the lights that I'll be putting outside once the, the plants are back in and the mulch is laid. And that'll be really pretty. And I do still want to do edging, but I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Do you want to go outside? You got to hold on a minute. And over here I've got some meat defrosting because I'm going to do these on the grill tomorrow. Some burgers and some chicken and we'll have a couple of meals out of that but I want to grill them. Tonight I'm just thawing out. I have frozen these brioche buns. I'm just going to do super easy chicken patties in the air fryer. Oh, that's what I wanted tots too. <laughs> we'll do tots and chicken patties tonight. It's already 4 o'clock so we'll be doing that soon but I need to get this these groceries put up. I got this rug at Ross that I showed you. It is so big and this was only $5.99. I'm shocked. 
it's not like thick or anything but it'll do good for what I need it for just at the back door Ollie do you approve <laughs> um, you know when the dogs come in it'll, they'll just track over this hopefully it will grab most of the dirt and stuff before they come inside but such a great deal I knew Ross would not let me down they have great prices on things like that before I can make dinner Marion and I are actually gonna run over to his brother's house they are out of town and he's gonna let their animals out they got some ducks I haven't seen the ducks yet but they have ducks and yeah I want to see them so we have to just like feed the ducks and then let the dogs out feed them let them stay out for a little while they have the cutest dogs I mean mine are the cutest but they're the next cutest dogs Include that doesn't look too good. Colon, Hopefully that, that is pulling away Ooh. from where we're going. <laughs> So simple dinner tonight. I'm just doing these chicken breast with country fried chicken breast, and I put them on brioche. So good. I've showed this so many times. It comes with cream gravy, but I'm not going to make that tonight because I'm going to do the barbecue chip tots, and I think I might use like barbecue sauce or Chick Fil A sauce or ranch. I don't know, but I think that would be better than the white cream gravy. But I just I'm going to stick three of these in the oven. Marion and I will eat these. And Jackson prefers the Arby's fries, so I'm going to put those in the air fryer, but I'm going to go ahead and mix this. Um, I recently shared, it's just a bunch of spices and some oil and some brown sugar, and then you cook them. I baked them for an, half an hour, and I went ahead and put the um, tray in there to preheat. And I literally, in my last video, I just shared this, and I linked the recipe if you're interested, but they are so good. there is dinner and I'm gonna say it again you have got to try these tots <laughs> they are so good I definitely put more brown sugar than last time and they are so amazing they're sweet and savory they almost taste like barbecue it's I can't describe it but they are so delicious just a little chicken patty with some lettuce tomato I just love to keep y'all updated on the weather I should have been a meteorologist because weather fascinates me and I just appreciate like all weather it's so I think it's so fascinating <laughs> so there you go just a little weather check it's definitely a stormy evening they said it would be but tomorrow we're hoping for no storms we're hoping to get outside because as soon as we want to get out there this happens but I know so many need, need rain so I'm not going to complain about the rain we did get some flooding we got way too much we got over, our city parts of our city got nine inches of rain the other day which is crazy wish I could just like pass that on to y'all that need it but seems like everywhere it's either in a drought or flooding it's crazy no Holly come here Come inside. I'm afraid we're gonna have another flood like the other night. I just can't see out there.
feel like it's more dangerous at night because I can't tell how deep it is. The molly. I can't tell how deep it is when I could tell, you know, during the day. You see that? It is midnight and I'm going to bed, but it is still pouring down rain and we still have, we have so much flooding. It's hard to see out here, but the streets are flooded. Oh my word, it's insane. They said we could get two to three more inches during the night. It's a little scary to go to bed. I won't sleep very well, I'll definitely definitely be checking constantly but it is still pouring down rain and he said um it could be most of the night i think till like four or five in the morning it could be so and he said we could get two to three more during the night so definitely gonna keep an eye on that tonight but the sump pump's doing good we only have a few little street little trickles in the basement which is which is what always happens so considering what some people are dealing with we're actually very fortunate Okay, y'all, we made it through the night. It is Sunday morning. I was up a lot of the night. Um, I was watching on Facebook. I know that we had at least one swift water rescue. They had to rescue someone. And I didn't ever hear if they did, but I also didn't hear that, that they didn't. So um, I guess because it was at night, there wasn't as many people on the roads, which was a blessing, but it was also dark, so you couldn't see where there was water covered roads. Um, Madison texted me late last night and she had just gotten home. She had water everywhere, so it's gonna be a long day for her to clean up. Um, we actually fared pretty well. We still have the same spots where water comes in our basement, but we don't have like rugs or anything now. Marion already rolled his rugs up, and we have outdoor carpet in the, on the one side, and then the other side's just completely no carpet. We have like pallets down there for a few things, and then everything is either in a big plastic bin, or you know, it's waterproof, so we've been down this road so many times. Never, I don't think, with this much rain. I don't think I've ever seen this much rain. It's nearly a foot in the last three days for, I know before all this, it was nine inches at, in one part of our city. And then this was like another four. So it's insane. It's really crazy. Hopefully the rain has moved out though. It was still raining this morning uh, until nine something. It was still raining or until nine. So hopefully it's gonna clear out. It's super muddy, it's super muggy, it's super wet. It's gonna be hot today, but hopefully we're gonna get out and work on the basement and um, hopefully everything's gonna dry out. The waters, I think, mostly have receded. Obviously not where the rivers are. Maybe we'll drive over there and look at the flooding. We have this like uh, waterfall in our city and when it floods, like it's a beautiful place to go, but when it's flooded, it is crazy. So. I would love to just drive over there and look at it. It's, it's probably nuts right now, but anyway, I did post on Instagram last night to please pray for our city, pray for the surrounding counties because of all the rain. But, um, and it was just, just scary at night when it's still coming down so much. And then they keep, they forecasted like a couple more inches during the night. And then you can't really see, and you can't tell some people who live close to creeks and stuff, can't see when the water's rising necessarily. So it's just scarier when it's at night, but it's morning. I haven't seen anything tragic. I haven't seen that anybody lost their life. So, um, anyway, it's Sunday morning. We are, what time is it? 10.35. Is, can you tell Jackson to go in the bathroom and do his stuff, please? We are going to go to church and then uh, probably just like pick up something, take out for lunch and come home because we really want to start working out here. I know you probably hear, sick of hearing me say that, but with all the rain, we just keep having to postpone it. So, also for dinner, I want to pull out my grill, hopefully. Hopefully everything's dry and I can. So we came down here to this river in town to look at the flooding. It, the news station is over there recording. This is insane. This is not, not normally like this. I'm trying to show you. That's a waterfall right there, but this river is raging. Wow.
can walk all the way down and under the bridge, or yeah, under the bridge. We ride our bikes. And this is normally just a really pretty waterfall. Wow. Can't get a good view from up here with the trees. Yeah, there's a whole tree. Yeah, I don't know, I know what that pole is from. There's a big old metal pole. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what that came from, but there's a tree, and you can see the water was all the way up, all the way up here. The ground is so soft. Yeah, this is not like this normally. Wow, crazy. All right, so. It is now like 1.30 or so. We're gonna start working on the backyard. I'm gonna be replanting all my plants. Marion's gonna be building the railings. Jackson's gonna mow the grass. And then uh, hopefully we'll get this done in a few hours and then pull out my grill. I gotta clean it off and grill some dinner. So it's much later now. I've been working to get my plants in the ground. Marion's been working on the, cutting the wood for the uh, railings. I'm dirty, I'm hot. I feel so gross. the cheeseburgers for dinner but I'm saving all of this barbecue chicken for tomorrow I'll probably just make like some pasta salad and baked beans and that'll be dinner so that'll be easy tomorrow night it is 8 30 now we just finished outside for tonight it's getting dark got so much accomplished it is looking so good and I'm so excited so excited to share that I just sat out there for like an hour or two while he was working and just enjoyed it. It was so nice. It was 90 degrees. It said it felt like 96, but in the shade and the breeze, it was wonderful. I mean, I am sweating like crazy. I'm so dirty. I went ahead and went downstairs and sucked up some of the water that was down there. And then I vacuumed the downstairs and in my living room. And this is full. A lot of that is like sawdust from, from downstairs. But I'm going to go ahead and shower first. And then just like sweep the kitchen, load the dishwasher with a few things, just straighten up a little bit. So I'll give you a little clean cleaning motivation to end the video and then I'm gonna go ahead and say bye. So, well, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye now and then I'll leave you with a little cleaning motivation if you need it. But thank you for hanging out with us this weekend. Um, it was a busy one, but we got a lot accomplished and that feels good. So make sure to uh, like this video if you liked it make sure to subscribe if you're not already and you want to be I would love to have you stick around and um, I love you guys. I appreciate you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. -bye. You say take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance Later